The overall goal of this rapid post-mortem cell culture protocol is to generate durable patient-derived cell cultures of diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma to facilitate the experiments necessary to understand and ultimately develop effective therapies for DIPG. This method can help to answer key questions about the fundamental biology of and therapeutic strategies for diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma such as whether certain drugs work across different patient-derived cultures. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows direct study of the biology of patient-derived cells. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy for DIPG because it allows for the testing of different therapeutic strategies across different genetic subtypes of the disease. Though this method can provide insight into DIPG, it can also be applied to other diseases, such as other pediatric high-grade gliomas, adult glioblastomas, or other central nervous system tumors. Generally, individuals new to this technique will struggle because it is difficult to procure and rapidly process autopsy samples in an efficient manner. Prior to sample preparation, sterilize the tissue culture hood along with razor blades, curved hemostats, and other non-sterile tools under the UV light for one hour and perform all the following steps under sterile conditions. Next. Transfer the tissue into a high-walled 100 mm by 20 mm cell culture dish. Remove the media left over from shipping and replace it with 10 to 15 milliliters of cold culture media. Then, using the curved hemostats to grasp a razor blade, mince the tissue finely while removing the blood vessels or meninges. The final tissue fragments should be smaller than 1 mm. Afterward, transfer the tissue into a clean...